Hi, in this video, we're going to look at how to add borders around different elements on a web page. In the previous video, we looked at the box model in HTML and CSS, and we looked at how to add padding or spacing around different elements in a web page. In this tutorial, we'll look at borders, um, so lines around different elements, which can be applied to things like text or buttons, uh, images, uh, things like that. So there are different types of border styles. Um, most objects start with no border to begin with, uh, but you can choose a solid line or a dotted or dashed line, a double border. Uh, there's lots of different styles that you can work with. So if we have a look at the HTML code for this web page, basically in the body section, I've just got two headings, uh, a paragraph, and then I've got an image that I've um, shrunk down as well. In the CSS code, I've just changed the font family to Arial for the whole web page. Um, but now what we'll do is we'll look at how to add borders to these different elements and we'll look at a few different examples. So firstly, I'll apply a border to the H1 size heading at the top of the page. Now, just to make it stand out, I'll change the background color to um, a different color so it's not just white. Um, and then I'll add some padding. I'm gonna go with 20 pixels all around and then I'm going to specify um, the, what type of border I want. Now, there's a few different ways that you can go around um, writing the code to add a border. Uh, I'm gonna show you firstly how to do it in a few lines of code, and then I'm gonna show you another way of doing it uh, in just one line of code. So this is how you can change the individual parts of a border. You can say border style, now the default is none, so at the moment there's no border. So border style none would be no border. If we want to make it a solid line, we can just say border style solid. Then we can say border width, and we can specify an amount, like say two pixels. And then we can specify the border color. Um, so I might just go with black. All right, now if we go and save and refresh, there we go, we've got, um, we've got our heading, we've got some padding around the heading, and then we've got a two pixel thick border going all the way around. And it's a solid border, just a, a solid line. All right, let's look at another example with the H2 size heading this time. So again, I'll just give this a different background color. All right, now I'll add some padding again. Um, but this time when I specify the border, instead of saying border style, border width, border color on three lines of code, I'm just gonna do that all in one line of code. So all we have to do is say border. And then in this order, we can specify the thickness um, or width, uh, the type of border and the color. All right, so this one, I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker. I'll say three pixels. And instead of solid, which I could write there, I'm gonna go with dashed instead, and I'll make it blue. Okay, save, refresh, there we go. All right, that looks not that visually appealing, but we can see it's a dashed line border. It's a little bit thicker um, and it's blue and we've done all of that in just one line of code. All right. Um, this time I'll show um, how we can specify borders, uh, what type of border for all four sides of the object. So we'll do this for the, um, uh, for the paragraph, so P for paragraph. All right, we'll give this a background color of light blue and we'll give it some padding too. And this time uh, I'm gonna specify the, what, like just what we just did then all the information about a border in one line of code, but we're gonna specify that for each side of the border. So we're gonna need four lines of code because there are four sides um, to this box for each side, each side of the box, each border. All right, so we can say border top. All right, and we could do, um, you know, we could do uh, three pixels again, maybe this time dotted and red. All right. For the border uh, left, we'll go three pixels, this time dashed, and we'll go yellow. Uh, then we can do border right, go the same thickness. Uh, we'll go solid this time, and we're green. And then border bottom, uh, same thickness. Uh, this time we'll use groove, 
and just make it black. Okay, so there we go. We've specified each side of the, the box what we want the border to be, um, and thickness, type of border, and color in one go on each line. Okay, so this obviously doesn't look very nice, but just so you can see, this is a dotted border, little dots, this is a dash border, this is a solid border, uh, and on this side, we have a grooved border. Okay, um, so that's basically it. And we can apply borders to any object on the page. All, remember, all objects um, are considered boxes uh, where we can specify padding, borders, and margins. So I could do this to the image as well. I could say border, uh, three pixels. We could go gray, uh, solid gray. And the image would have a border around it. All right. Now, the examples I've used here, um, I've used different colors just to make it stand out. So it's it's uh, clear what what's what, but um, it doesn't look that great. However, borders can work really well on web pages. So for example, if you want to create um, a nice button uh, on a web page, uh, you could create a nice uh, border around that. You can also do rounded borders, which we'll look at in another tutorial, how to specify the radius to round off the corners of a border. Um, sometimes borders work well around images uh, or different um, columns on the page, things like that. So they can work well if you, um, you know, consider your, your color scheme and uh, make sure that um, there's not too much clutter on the page and make sure that they're used effectively. Anyway, that's it for this video and in the next one we'll look at margins. Thanks for watching.